A Star Trek Universe freebie, the USS Tucson. Hmm, looks pretty good on the box. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with the Star Trek Picard official Starship collection from Eagle Moss Hero Collector. This time, this is the bonus. This is the USS Tusa NCC 87111. Now, it's very similar to the the one that Riker did. It's the, the Inquiry class. Yeah, this is an Inquiry class that Riker had. We had the model for this one with a... Sh I think it, it, where they described it is the original one that, that Zheng He had short in his cells this one's got longer that's what i'm assuming is on the actual stand itself this is something about short nacelles plus the nacelles are a little bit different anyway with the bus collectors on the side there instead of being kind of on the front here-ish i mean i'm trying to look at the pictures online at the minute there were the, the scene at the end of picard was absolutely amazing all the ships turned up but they all look the same they look very much similar to each other this one this ship in the collection now is actually the bonus that they promised us with number six, which was Neric's Snakehead. Now, it's nice to give us bonuses like this. The other bonuses that they gave us so far were, I think they were the pins. If you got, I think, it was it an earlier? No, I think there was an early one for um, the, the Enterprise, Build Your Enterprise D. It was different pins, but we got the Lacerina and the, yeah, two badges for that. We also got the binder with number two. Number three, we got the Speed of Light Club plaque the five we got a mug which i think i got that with the fourth but that's fine but this is the sixth one which is a free ship we'll come to that in a minute it's nice getting free ships i mean the only thing i can see what we actually would get is another there's another print that's coming with number eight i mean whether or not i get that or not i don't know i don't really fully collect the posters it's not really my thing so inquiry class 24th century 630.94 meters long it baffles me at the at the level of, yeah, <laughs> level of preciseness. Now, for some reason, this on here has got the, the... Oh, right, OK. I'm looking at the pictures on the internet, and the model might be a test model. We'll find that in a minute with the bus side collectors actually on the either top or on the outside section, kind of like here-ish where that black panel is. But I don't know. I really don't know now. We'll find out in a few minutes. So, lots of reflections there, so let's come out a little bit and hold it up for you. There we go. So nice details on this. It does look very similar to the last ship in this one. I mean, we have variants. Okay. I'm right, because Fleet was made up of four variants. Oh, four variants. Okay. So the amount of ships that were there. I've actually seen on YouTube, somebody's done a fan edit with instead of having these ships come there's the enterprise d class galaxy class a um intrepid class the defiant there's there's also the even enterprise e comes it comes flying in to help out with the you know with the battle ah that's the one i'm on about with the nostals on top yeah it, it looks absolutely brilliant just if you just cut it straight into where all the ships just appear at once but they're all different if all i've done is the four on this one as a choose to some Toussaint actually means um, All Saint in French. That one there is the, is it Marla? I can't actually tell that one. And over here on the left, Yarin Frey. Could be, could be really pronouncing that one wrong. But like I say, oh, there we go. The Mao and the Varin Frey. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, you can tell the differences on the ships there, but the whole scene was made up of all these four ships. Then Picard's, the uh, Lacerina in the front, and yeah, it's nice to see. More designing from John Eves there on the Inquiry class. I mean, lots of tech. If you want to read these things, if you can make that out, then fine, pause the video when you want. If not, to be honest, like I said before, these are just videos that I make to do a nice little thing. So if you want to buy one, go out and buy one. I'm not stopping you buying one. It's good to buy these. Some of these are absolutely amazing. I wouldn't go to the extreme of where I'm going, buying a whole blooming lot, but never mind. 
it's quite oh that's an interesting concept same very 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 similar nacelles to the enterprise e the sovereign class and uh, is there gaps in there they are aren't there there's gaps in the court uh, edges there i would have preferred filled in which is is that version but hmm nice oh hello what is that meant to be <laughs> vfx office yeah plodding away okay Normal environment. Okay, is that with normal lighting on it as well then? Right, that's a bit insane. See, there's the scene at the end there. If you can pick out all the ships there, you probably will find all four of them, all four variants. But yeah. I'm actually, you know, we're not looking forward to the rest of the universe collection on this one. I'm actually looking forward to the Voyager when it comes out. I'm definitely looking forward to, I don't think it's on there. The Discovery, I mean, all right, fine, the controversial alert. Um, the Discovery with the nacelles detached, the Discovery, oh, why am I not seeing it? It's right in the middle there. Yeah, with the detached <laughs> detached parts there. Blimey, I'm blinder than a bat. Discovery A. I mean, yeah, A was would have been if it was destroyed or brought back, but the A on this one, it's almost like it's a full refit of the ship. Sort of more like technological refit instead of set refit. We've just had the the Neric ship, which was quite nice, quite nice little little ship there. I'm actually quite liking these now. They're actually quite good, as ship wise goes. So let's get you zoomed out and let's have a look at the model. Now there we are. Comes out nicely. Oh, so here's the one with the. Fossil collectors on top. Let's go through on here. Toussaint is 4685A slash A. Just for if anybody's doing a, a you know, doing a bingo calling for these. I don't know. I really don't know. That's quite a light ship, even though I can feel on the top is cold. Because time of year, things are getting colder. But look at the size of this thing. NCC 87111. I mean, I always scale these to my hand. I mean, I've got, I work for a living, terribly sorry. I have a little cuts and whatever's on my hand anyway. These things happen at work. But the actual size of this is either the width of my hand and the length of my hand, or, well, either or for a smaller model, for a bigger one, it's usually both. Now, slap back in the middle is the width of my hand and, and way, way beyond from the back of the wrist, way beyond. That's a big ship. We've got, we've finally got some clear parts on the back of here where the impulse engines are. I mean, this is not a full redress of the Zhenghei. The Zhenghei Zhengha. I think I, I, I did an argument about this on the last, on the last video I did for that ship, which is nice. But let's get you in a bit more closer on this one. Let's do it from the front downwards this time, or downwards upwards. It's that bridge. I'm sorry, but that bridge just it screams Galaxy Quest. <laughs> I mean, I know they, they took a few ideas off of, but I thought Galaxy Quest was after, way before the redesign, unless I'm completely wrong. But what year Galaxy Quest was actually around? Good film, good, good laugh of a film, to be honest. Looks like Shuttle Bay on the. That's not Shuttle Bay. That was a supposed to be another ship on the bike, wasn't it? Or is that the Enterprise? No, that's Enterprise. F. Right, okay. So that is a big shuttle bay. However, I thought the shuttle bay was actually on the front, which it is. The Toussaint. All sent. On the side there. Lots of nice windows. They are they're not doing bad with the windows, shall we say? Oh I'm doing bad with the camera work. There we go. Dark section on the back is kind of strangely weird. Well, the big thing is actually weird is these feel like stickers. These feel like they're actually just being stuck on top and they look like they're raised like they are stickers. And that's not even lined up on the back there either. Oh, it is. Yeah, it isn't. No, it is. That's kind of weird. Very brightly yellow, but the, the front section on here is actually orange. Nice slender. Tiny bit of blue on there. I do like the blues on, on, on nacelles, but... That's, I, hold on a minute, is that end bit meant to be bent round like that? Yeah. 
There's a slight bend on both of them. That's fine. Now nope. come back into focus camera. Thank you. There's a lot of decks on the side here. It's not massively ridiculously big ship. I mean, you can figure it out from decks, shall we say. There's probably like one, two, three, four with these one on top of here, maybe. And you've got another one, two, three coming down there. Maybe another three, four coming down. So you probably scale wise, maybe 14, 15 decks. I don't know. The original Enterprise was about that high, but nowhere near the length of this. This is ridiculous. It's double the size of the Enterprise Constitution one. But I am quite getting used to these ships now. They are quite nice. In the side, a lot of detail work there. Massive, massive name on the bottom of there. Strange how they've changed the, the, the lettering is. Hmm, wonder what that is. Transport panel, possibly. All the vents, massive vents. I don't know what they are. If it's meant to be a, a landing, no, there'd be something on the back, wouldn't there? All the vents up here. I do like a vent. It's a nice event. So the blue section is just two little bits, top and bottom, and bright yellow section there. Let's have a look at a profile for you. It looks odd as a profile because you've got this. That looks better. That was a lot nicer as a profile. But then the massive navigational deflector, because it's not up here, not the cutaway like the NX class Enterprise. Look at the back end view. It's a shame we can't get these to light up. It would look a lot better and nicer. I mean, if I could ever figure out how to get these to pieces, then I might do that in the future. Need some thin, well, you'll probably get away with standard LED inside there. Might be enough gap just to light one here and one here. They're doing the cells, you have to repurpose these to make them clear. Maybe the blue part as well. Yeah, that's quite a nice looking ship. For free? Yep. Definitely, I'll have that any day. Quite like that. Really, really nice ship. I mean, it's a shame this is the last one of the, the freebie ships, unless they're gonna announce something else for continued membership, I don't know. But um, yeah, good, nice. Nice starship. Yeah. So, as I said before, if you actually like these, like the, the review, Go out and buy your own. I mean, these were these are probably tricky to get because it's a freebie. But there will be people. There's loads of people on eBay that seem to get these, subscribe, then flog these off for like fifty or sixty pound or something. It, it's a tiny bit of a rip off. But what we had before with the freebie on the original Starships collection was the the Dreadnought class Enterprise D from All Good Things. That wasn't available. That was a, a subscriber only until they released it to the general public. So it might be available eventually anyway. It might even be, well, it's not on the list for being released at the moment, I don't think. But um, yeah, they probably will release this to the general public for everybody anyway, probably next year or something. It'd be daft if they didn't, it's quite a nice ship. But it's side by side with the Zheng He, that would be quite good. So, there we go. <laughs> Sigh, that's really big, that's ridiculous. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and give me a follow. Look through the back catalogue and everything. I've got loads of videos on there, lots of Trek stuff, a lot of tech stuff that I tear stuff down with, repair. Yeah, if you'd like it, comment, say hello. And yeah, other than that, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.